<coughs> Colleen, thank you very much for being here. Thank you for asking. You are welcome. So let's start off by just talking about a little bit of the, the business and labor climate in Lawrence County. Sure. So we have a large demographic in Lawrence County that's missing. Okay. So we were looking at our population demographics not too long ago, and about 50% of our population is in the labor pool, which isn't uncommon. That's pretty common for most of the United States. Sure. But what we're missing is that 18 to 30 year old demographic. The vast majority right now are out of our county. It's our smallest demographic right now. Okay, they're just not there. They're just not there. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I thought the, they didn't want to get jobs or something like no, that. No, they're, they're just not, not there. there. Huh. The, they're the demographic that should be entering our workforces right now. Right. And we understand that 18 to 22 year old, most of them are probably off at school somewhere. Mm -hmm. But what happened to that 22 to 30? Where are they? Right. And they just don't live in Lawrence County right now. Huh. And how do we draw them back in? Because sure. that's the labor force that we need to get in place and get working. And we have jobs. Everybody has jobs. Right. From unskilled labor, production, laborers, running a forklift, stocking shelves, whatever it is, all the way up to accountants, CPAs, right. professionals, lawyers, doctors, everything under the sun in Lawrence County. Mm -hmm. But we just don't have the people to staff the positions. Well, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of manufacturing in Lawrence County. There is. Um, are, what are some of the other industries that are that are pretty big that are looking for workers? Healthcare. Okay. Healthcare is very large. It's our number two. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think healthcare might be number one in Lawrence County, with manufacturing down the list a little bit further. So they need RNs, STNAs, everything, CNAs, RNs, STNAs, LPNs. You name it. The in the healthcare industry, you know, physical therapists are okay. an, another need. So it's not just the doctors and the nurses; it's all the ancillary jobs that go along with it. Right. Yeah. So I guess what are we doing, or how are how is your organization working to connect these people? Um, because it's a big it's a big question. I know there's a lot there. Um, but um, if you could, we can chip away at it. So let's let's start chipping away at it, okay. I guess, sure. So basically the career link, just like every other one stop in the United States, we, we're here to link you to your next career. Right. So our job as workforce development is to help employers and job seekers link up, meet each other, find the jobs that, that fit both of their needs with workforce development, it's a little bit harder than just saying, okay, let's take this person and this person and put them together. That's what a temp service does, or that's what a, a recruiting service does. Right. We're actually there to help with those people who have the barriers to entry. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of people that come into our office, they don't know how to use a computer. Okay. Surprising number of people who don't know how to use a computer. They, have, they haven't written a resume in 25 years and they've lost their job. Or and they have enough, a lot of that's online now. And a lot so, of that's yeah. online. So right. you're not gonna so just, sit there and type out the resume. Right, you know. and they have no idea how to apply for a job anymore. Sure. You know, they're, the last time they looked for a job, they were knocking on doors and handing their resumes to people. Mm -hmm. And so now they have to update a resume that hasn't been touched in 20 years. Yeah. They haven't interviewed in 20 years. Mm -hmm. And so how do we get them upskilled, that's the new buzzword, right. so how do we get them upskilled to the point where they can use the computer, they can apply for the jobs, their resume is updated, and all that's available through the career link for free. Workforce development, our job again is to help get them upskilled to the point where they can get those jobs that they have other skills for, but sure. maybe not the skills to find. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the um what are some of the other skills that these people need to get? Are, are you um, getting them into workforce training programs so that they can get certification, so that they can get maybe a little bit of um, experience at a trade school or something like that? Absolutely. Through PA mm -hmm. CareerLink, we have what's known as tuition assistance. Okay. So eligible employees can go back to school. They do have to be approved providers mm -hmm. and approved training programs. Sure. So we have a list, and every county in PA is a little bit different. So if you're looking at Mercer County or Butler County, Beaver County, 
or even into Ohio, because the one stops have the same thing. The Ohio means jobs centers have the same thing as we do. But the funding levels are a little bit different mm -hmm. and the training providers are a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So Lawrence County, what we refer to as our ETPL, our, our approved training providers list, on that is, are things like Newcastle School of Trades right. and Laure Laurel Technical Institute, um, Precision Manufacturing Institute. And those different training providers offer different courses. Not all of their courses are approved for the tuition reimbursement gotcha. or the tuition assistance. Right. But that's why you come down to the career link, you speak with one of our employment training specialists, and we can determine what your interests are, where your skills are, and what additional training you might need, and then make a determination as to whether or not there's assistance available. But there is probably a job for you. There's, oh, there's, there's a definitely job a you. job for you. Right. There's a, <laughs> there are actually more jobs available right now than we have people to fill them. Well, let's talk a little bit about um, what's going on in Lawrence County right now. Could you talk a little bit about um, some of the development, some of, the, some of what's happening in Lawrence County right now? Lawrence County is growing. Sure. We are continuing, unfortunately, not from a population standpoint. <laughs> right. Well, that's that's kind of, you know, throughout the Mahoning and Shenango Valley right. area, that's that's a problem. Yeah. Right. And as I had mentioned earlier, one of the demographics that we recently looked at was labor pool and age groups within that labor pool. Mm -hmm. So Lawrence County is about a 50 percent of our population is available for our labor pool. And again, that's not uncommon. Right. That's pretty consistent across the United States and especially our area here around the Mahoning Valley. What is inconsistent though is the fact that the 18 to 30 year old demographic is the smallest population mm -hmm. in Lawrence County. Right. And small by far, not okay. just, okay, college age kids who went off to school. It's a significant decrease in our county. And that's where we're losing that ability to fill a lot of those positions, especially entry level positions and positions where maybe you only need an associate's degree because those people just don't live in our county right now. So what do you tell young people who are getting to that age or the young people who may have left to get them to stay or come back? There's jobs available and they're good right. paying jobs and we have a low cost of living, which mm -hmm. is something they don't always look at. You know, when you're 18, yeah. 20, 24 years old, how many of you are really right. looking at the benefits package and the, the cost of living? And, you know, you're looking at the flexibility and you're looking at, you mm -hmm. know, how much vacation am I going to get and what's the pay? And pay drives so many people's decisions without them taking into consideration the full picture. Right. How, just because you're making $50,000 a year doesn't mean you aren't paying $18,000 of it for your insurance. Sure, yeah. And if you're Rent. not taking that into All consideration, that. Yeah. you could be taking a $40,000 a year job that pays for your insurance and being that much to the better. Correct. But if you're not paying attention to that part of it, you're, you could be making a poor decision. So you guys have an event coming up. Yes, we do. Right, so let's talk a little bit about that. Um, that's at the end of the month, right? It's June 22nd. Right from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's the Lawrence and Mercer County Joint Job Fair. So we are sure. pulling in employers from both counties. And we actually have employers coming in from Allegheny County, from Columbia Mahoning Counties, from Beaver and Butler Counties. So it's not just Lawrence and Mercer, right? but the focus of it are Lawrence and Mercer County jobs so that the employers are filling positions within our two counties. So we're working with our sister career link in Mercer County, filling those tables. We're hoping to get up to 100 employers. Right now, we're at 30 exhibitors. Okay. So we're, we're working our way up. That joint job fair is all employers. So it's not just one type of industry. Okay. We are drawing in from healthcare. We're drawing in from manufacturing. We're drawing in from trucking and logistics. We're drawing in from warehousing. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of everything. So something available for everybody. Right. And as a job seeker, when you come in, you're gonna be able to talk to literally, at this point, 30 different exhibitors mm -hmm. and get interviewed 30 times in one day. Right. So where else are you gonna go and get that done? It's like speed dating. It is but speed dating. For, you know, getting a job. <laughs> and you said you're hoping to get around 100? We're hoping to get 100. Um, we're getting a little close to the date now for the cutoff, which is next Friday for our employers. But 
we're hoping to at least hit 50. Is there, do you, do you need to register or anything like that? At this point, no. We're going to open up pre-registration. We're still working on some of the online details for mm -hmm. that because we're having some issues with our IT getting the sure. automatic notifications pushes. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I do not have the skill set for that. I don't either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to outsource that stuff. I do have to outsource it, and I'm, <laughs> I'm leaning on my IT people to get right. that done. And at this point, they just haven't. So mm -hmm. we're hoping to have a pre-registration available in the next couple of days. Okay. But otherwise, it's walk-ins are welcome. So sure. regardless of whether or not you pre-register, you can still come in and register day of the event between 10 and 3, we'll be at the Western Central Pennsylvania Electricians Training Center. Okay. This is not a union event. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though we're holding it at an right. IBEW sure. um, training facility. And what time is it? It's from 10 to 3 on okay. June 22nd. Got it. And is there, where can we go to find more information? More information is available on our Joint Job Fair website, which is www.tinyurl.com slash jointjf. Okay, we'll put that up on the screen. Got it. We have a QR code for that too. Okay, fantastic. Um, I guess, is there anything else that you wanted to talk about as far as jobs in Lawrence County or anything going on with your organization? I would like to mention yeah. that we do have a new employer moving into the county, sure. Bunting Aluminum, and they're expecting to be up and running in 12 to 18 months. So they're looking for all positions, mm -hmm. and those positions range from shop floor to all of the office positions that you would have in any type of manufacturing. Right. So they're a huge get for Lawrence County. Uh -huh. We're very excited to have them coming in and working closely with the Career Link to fill those positions. 717 Credit Union, business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union, it's knowing you were treated right every time.